Hello everyone. Welcome to another video series as a continuation of code-based seismic analysis procedure. In the previous videos, the model time period of the structure has been evaluated by the empirical formula and by the relic method as prescribed in the code NBC 1052020 and compare the values with the ETABs. So in ETABs, we got the time period of 0.983 seconds. Similarly, by the relic method, we got the similar result with the ETABs as 0 0.984 seconds and from the empirical formula with this formula this formula we got the model time period of the structure of this structure structure as 1.024 second so today the manual calculation of the equivalent static analysis procedure with the guidelines prescribed in the code nvc 1052020 shall be done and compare the global response of the structure obtained by the manual calculation with the values of e types so the same model of e types which we have used in the our previous session shall be used today and continue the evaluation procedure so while the calculation of time period the seismic induced lateral force of each story level also has been calculated in this excel sheet with the formula as prescribed in the code here if we see the code and we see 1052020 after the evaluation of horizontal seismic base here with the formula b equals to cd t1 into w where cd t1 equals to horizontal base shear coefficient which is calculated with this formula ct1 divided by r factor and the r factor is the combination of r over strength factor due to ductility and due to the sorry uh, strength reduction factor due to ductility and due to over strength factor as given in the class 5.3 and 5.4 with the for the ultimate limit state and then the seismic base shear has been calculated with the, this formula where w equals to the seismic weight of the structure or seismic mass of the structure as prescribed in the code which is dead load plus 0 0.3 live load for each story sorry for the structure and after that the vertical distribution of seismic force shall be given by the formula called lateral seismic force induced at each story level and it is the formula here which is wi into hi power k divided by summation of wi hi power k into the multiplied by seismic base shear of the structure where k is the exponent related factor and b is the seismic base shear n equals to total number of stories h is the height of the story from the base level to which level we are taking and wi is the seismic weight of the structure assigned to each story level so with this formula the lateral force at each story level have been calculated here and the model time period of the structure has been already calculated and explained the process or the formula for the evaluation of model time period by the relics method and by the empirical formula and if we follow my previous video we have already learned how to calculate the story stiffness of the structure and at that time we followed the same structure which we are using now the story stiffness of the structure has been calculated with this formula i picked one research paper and copy this formula and the story stiffness has been calculated based on this formula so we got the history stiffness from story first to story 13 here and compare the history stiffness with the value obtained in ETAPS and the manual evaluation comparison with the ETAPS value and we got more or less similar result which is near about matching 
the manual evaluation of stress stiffness nearly matches with the value obtained in ETAPS. This is the mode shift of the structure in X direction for mode 1 with the normalized value. So, if yeah. the mode 1, the time period of the structure is 0 0.9838 second. 0 0.9838 second. And based on this time period, the structure. Uh, sorry, storage stiffness has been evaluated and it is important to convert this storage stiffness into global stiffness matrix. We have read, we have learned in structural dynamics to calculate the global stiffness matrix of the structure. So for our story 13, 13 story structure, the global stiffness matrix shall be made with this formula as given here so this is the global story stiffness for example if we go for story one this is k1 plus k2 it means the story of story one stiffness of story one plus story two and in the second term in the row as minus k2 and second term in the first column as minus k2 here yes this is minus k2 and this is also minus k2 similarly following this formula the history stiffness uh, sorry global stiffness of the uh, equivalent to the frame of our structure has been calculated which is 13 by 13 matrix and we have to calculate the inverse matrix of this global stiffness matrix because for the uh, seismic uh, evaluation of the structure if we go into the formula very famous formula f equals to k into u where f is equal to the seismic force induced at its history level K is the global stiffness matrix of the structure and U is the story displacement of the structure. So for the evaluation of story displacement U, we have to calculate K inverse multiplied by F or the inverse matrix of this global stiffness matrix into the seismic force induced at its story level F. So, uh, FY. so with this formula first two, we are going to calculate the story displacement of the structure let me look into the evaluation of story displacement here yeah this is the auto lateral force generated in ETAPS and we calculated manually just uh, in this formula uh, this set with the formula uh, prescribed in the code and compare the value and we got the overlapping result with both the calculation for the e tabs let me check this value so go to display Go to story resonance float here. Auto go to auto lateral load to story, and if we check in tabulated form, I think I need to choose this one. I choose the service center limited state. Yes, for X duration, story force for story 13 is 2240 0.4181. 2240.4181. Here the unit is in Newton and here the unit is in kilonewton. 2240.418. Similarly, 2152 for story 13. 2152 for story 13. And similarly, 93.529 for story 1. 93.521 for story 1. And if we look into the manual calculation here in the set 224349.326 for 13 story, 224933 for 
13 stories for 20 story 2160 similarly for story 1 it's 93.93 which is matching with the retypes value and this is the plot for the lateral force so after this let me go to the story displacement here for the manual calculation of story displacement we have to multiply it multiply the inverse of global story stiffness inverse global matrix into the story force so here this this uh, matrix is multiplied to the story force to this story force to get the story displacement here if we see multi multiplication of matrix multiplication of this this is the story global story uh, stiffness matrix and this is the story force c139 to c151 okay c139 c139 to c151 with this inverse matrix so we get the story displacement and let me go to the ETFs value so from here go to maximum story displacement with the case ultimate limit state in EQX, EQX and let me go to the formatted table here 87.224 mm is the story displacement for 13th story similarly if, if we look into story first story one it is 4.212 which is similar to the manual calculation so if we compare the result we will get exactly same value which is overlapping with the ETAPS value the manual calculation is overlapping with the ETAPS value for all the story so after this we have to move to the story drift which is also an important parameter for seismic analysis procedure as a certain criteria so suppose this is the two degree of freedom structure with fluoride years in its stories then the diff story displacement is like this like this in first study one year it is second story mean two year then let's say here is a displacement of delta one and in second story displacement of delta two so up to here delta one this is delta 2 minus delta 1 so this is the fixed support at the base of the structure so the story drift for this level for the first floor is delta equals to delta 1 minus here is 0 displacement 0 by story height yes similarly for second story story number two delta equals to story drift equals to delta two minus delta one by story height if we say this one is h1 and this one is s2 h1 s2 here h1 equals to s2 it means same story height equals to let's say h so so here are same so right it means h1 equals to s2 equals to yes the first for looking the first for the story drift is delta 1 minus 0 by h and looking into the second floor story 2 delta story drift equals to delta 2 minus delta 1 by h it means relative displacement 
divided by story height. So if we turn into the Excel calculation here, for the story one, it is delta by h. It means the story displacement of first floor divided by the story height. Similarly, if we look into the story two, it is the displacement of story two minus story one divided by story height. It is 3200 mm. Similarly, we got all the values for all the stories. And if we look into the ETAPS value here for ultimate limit state in x direction, maximum story drift, go to tabulated value. The story drift for story 13 is 0 0.001087. We copied this value here in the Excel sheet to have a graph, to obtain a graph and for the comparison purpose. And similarly, looking for story one, it is 0 0.001384, 0 0.001384. And looking into the graph, the story drift is almost match it means the manual calculation is near about uh, it has value so this is the history drift and it is matching so let me turn into the evaluation of history here if we look into the previous video for the calculation of history force and the time period of the structure by relix method here we see that the story force for each story level which is induced due to the equivalent parameter application of seismic ground motions are calculated here this is calculated with the help of this formula as given in the code uh, in the class 6.3 that the lateral seismic force induced at its levels can be calculated as fi equals to wy into hi power k divided by summation of wi h i power k into b which means b equals to the horizontal seismic base shear of the structure w means the seismic weight of the structure assigned to the floor level h equals to the height of, from the base to the level i n equals to total number of floors and k is the exponent related factor associated with model time period and it can be evaluated with the uh, conditions here there are three conditions and if the time period of the structure is less than or equal to 0 0.5 second k equals to 1 then if it is greater than 2.5 second k equals to 2 and if the time period model time period is between this 0 0.5 second and 2.5 second the value of k should be interpolated so with this formula the seismic uh, story force uh, have been calculated here we see if we see the figure a plot of the force induced uh, in ETABS and calculated uh, as shown in the excel sheet this is the curve which is more or less linear and the force acting on its history level levels are more or less linear and it is exactly overlapping with each other so with the help of this history force the story share can be evaluated so if we take a small example let me draw some degree of freedom structure like this is the fixed support one two three four and five and um, this is the seismic force induced or acting at each story level if these are the force like this f1 similarly f2 3 4 and this one is f5 then the horizontal base shear is the maximum story shear story sorry story force induced at the base of the structure so this is the base shear of the structure if we look into the excel sheet for the evaluation of story force if we add this value the story force is 14807.52 kilonewton these are this is the mm, maximum base shear acting at the base of the structure and if we 
if we add this force summation of x should be zero it means the story force acting at each story from story first to story this fifth story five is the base shear of the structure and it should be applied to the negative direction of the applied force so this is the concept of base shear so at the base of the structure the maximum base shear is the summation of the story force just above this story so if we go want to go for the uh, story shear for the floor one then the story shear is the summation of all the story forces from the story two to five it means one story above the story which base shear is to be calculated similarly in our structure if we look into the calculation of base shear here then th um, these are the story force i put the story force for my business these are the story force and uh, for the base we add the story force from story 1 to 13 14807519.8 it means the force is in newton unit and here it is in kilo newton unit and uh, the story shear for the first floor is the summation of story force above the first floor uh, these are the value 14713.590 similarly for the sixth story story number six the base shear is the uh, summation of story force from story 7 to 13 it means 1195 5.575 yeah this one so for the generalized calculation story shear equals to so the story shear at each uh, story i or at the story level i equals to summation i equals to i plus 1 to n f y it means if we have to calculate the story shear for floor 1 it means story shear 1 equals to summation i equals to 1 plus 1 2 i equals to 2 to n and f i it means the story shear should be evaluated just above the from just above that story up to the top floor of the structure so if we look into the excel set of evaluation these are the uh, story shear calculated with the uh, described or uh, just explained procedure and these are the force obtained sorry story shear obtained from the etabs and if we plot the values for both manual and etabs the story shear are exactly or nearly matched which is overlap with each other and no two curves or no two profile or envelope of the shear are distinguished as seen in this curve so similarly the story shear for the structure can be calculated and this is the comparison of story shear for the manual calculation and the types so let me turn into the evaluation of uh, overturning moment or the moment in each story for the story first to story 13 so if i draw a structure here with a fixed support it seems like a cantilever and the force are acting like this these are the seismic force or lateral induced force at its story level 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 f it means f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 up to let's say my structure is 13 story 13 so these are the force acting on each story level and this is the resultant base shear of the structure resultant force called base shear at the base of the structure and this one is the overturning moment so to resist the demand 
induced by the seismic ground motions the structure have to uh, generate or have to uh, develop its resultant force called seismic pressure and the moment called overturning moment so if we look into this figure the moment at the base of the structures for example at the moment at the first floor is moment moment at story first equals to summation i equals to 2 to 13 because i have 13 story e of i into h i where h is the height of the structure from story uh, from above that just above the story we have considering to calculate the overturning moment to top our uh, story top story or top of the structure so if we have to calculate the story moment for the base we have to calculate uh, the story moment for all these forces above the base it means from here it means i equals to 2 to 13 or if we put 0 here for the base i equals to 1 to 13 f i into h i means h i is the height from this 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 for this one is h1 s2 this one is s3 s4 and similarly h5 h5 and this one is h1 similarly the height of the structure varies up to the top so if you have to calculate the moment at the base with this height it is zero so we need to take the upper floor so uh, here we can see that the moment at the base of the structure can be evaluated with this formula and if we turn into the story second then the moment is overturning moment for the story second is i equals to 3 to 13 then fi into hi similarly for the story 13 the formula goes like this and this one is evaluated in excel sheet let me show you okay these are the story moment and i just explained for the uh, base of the structure the moment is evaluated from the first floor it means the in the base just above the base of the structure and if we move into the first floor it is uh, first floor the moment um, is evaluated from the second floor it means uh, the horizontal the uh, distance the force acting on mm, this floor uh, and the dis uh, height of the structure it means zero for that floor so we need to take just above the floor up to the top of the structure similarly for all the story the story moment is evaluated and this is the overall summation of the story moment which is added for its story for different force story force so these values are mentioned are copied here these values are mentioned here in the calculation of overturning moment and these are the value obtained from the tabs if we see in the tabs let me go to tabs story response here let me go to story display story response you can choose the overturning moments for equivalent static analysis here the red line indicates that if we choose x direction we can get the moment of y direction and vice versa so if we go to the tabulated formatted data then um, the moment for story 13 is 0 and the story 12 is 6 minus 6855 6, similarly let me go to the base of the structure let me go to the base of the structure it means 43882 43882 437882 437882 okay here in the e-tabs we have seen the value of history shear and the moment is negative because the seismic force or the equivalent static force parameter we have applied in the positive direction so uh, to 
counter the, uh, this demand or the uh, demand of seismic uh, actions the story shear or the base shear of the structure as well as moment are induced as uh, negative to counteract the demand force of the earthquake ground motions or equivalent parameter of earthquake ground motion so the concept of negative value either in the shear force either in the moment story uh, shear uh, or the base shear is like this so this is the overall response of the structure we obtain global response manually and the comparison with the ETFs value here looking into the overturning moment the uh, moment profile or the end of is exactly matching and mm, overlapped with each other similarly the evaluation of global response of the structure has been uh, done and compare the value obtained uh, in the e tabs so like this way the equivalent static analysis procedure by any of the code can be uh, calculated and compared with the software value uh, here i take the reference of e tabs uh, this can be done with the uh, other software other finite element software like sap sap 2000 maidas and other uh, application so So today I want to close this session and in the next video we will continue with the response spectrum analysis for the same structure which we are using in this equivalent static analysis and as for the NVC 1052020 there is some provision for uh, the equivalent static analysis procedure and the response spectrum analysis procedure so we will discuss more about that in the next video series so uh, until then keep watching like comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, for more videos thank you